Attention high school students who are trying to become a physical therapist in the fastest way possible. Now, if you are a college student and you've already passed that freshman year, then I'm sorry, this video is not for you. So let me give you a little bit of background. Typically, it takes about four years to get through your undergraduate studies. Nowadays, maybe five or six years, right? And then you have to do an additional three years for a doctorate of physical therapy school. So that's a total of a minimum of seven years, maybe even eight or nine years to become a physical therapist. But what if I told you there was a specific program where you can go in as a freshman and finish in only six years? <laughs> Dude, six years compared to seven, eight or nine years, that is a big difference. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to learn how to become a physical therapist in the fastest way possible, baby. Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. In this channel, you'll find videos on everything related to the physical therapy journey from being a <coughs> high school student or a college student trying to get into PT school, videos on the physical therapy school journey, some tips and strategies on how to survive that, and life as a working professional as a physical therapist. Also, you'll find videos on if you have maybe some aches or pains in your neck or other parts of your areas like your shoulder or your lower back, you'll find videos on how to help yourself and just educate yourself because knowledge is power. So if any of that resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and hit those notifications so you don't miss a video when it drops. All right, so high school students who are trying to be a physical therapist in the fastest way possible. Let me tell you what you have to look out for. So when you are looking up different programs, you want to look for what's called freshman direct entry. And this basically means that when you go into college as a freshman, you are already declaring that you're going to become a physical therapist. So there are programs out there that are accelerated where you do maybe three or four years of undergrad and two or three years of doctorate school and you're done in six freaking years. That is so fast especially considering that the school and education system is so impacted and it's so hard to get classes. Through this program, you'll be guaranteed finishing and having your license as a physical therapist in six years. So why should you do a freshman direct entry program? Well, first off, it saves you time. And if it saves you time, it saves you money, right? Because every year you're paying tuition on every single time you're delayed. So if it saves you time and you get it done in six years versus nine years, then it saves you so much money. And lastly, if you're a student who's highly intellectual because this is for very smart students, and if you wanna be challenged in an accelerated program, then this program is for you. Okay, so let's talk about some requirements that are required to get into this freshman direct entry program. Now, like I mentioned before, you have to be smart to be able to prove yourself that you are eligible for this program. So every program is different and every different program requires different GPAs, SAT, ACT scores and stuff like that. But generally, you need to be applying with at least a 3.5 GPA, and that includes overall and also science and prerequisite courses like your bio and chemistry and possibly physics or anatomy and physiology classes. So if you're a high school student right now and you're checking your GPA and you're not quite there, you kind of have like a two point something GPA, it might be a little bit harder for you to get into this program because it's super competitive. But if your GPA is pretty high, like 3.75 and above, if you have an ACT score of at least 25 or above, and a SAT score of at least 1,200 or more, then this is great. And if you're not quite there, then maybe you need to retake those exams so that you can boost your score. 
All right, high school students, you're gonna love me for this because I did research for you and I'm gonna go through a full list of all the programs that I was able to research and find on which programs actually have that direct entry uh, physical therapy program, right? So sometimes it's also called early assurance, but typically it's called freshman direct entry program, okay? So we're gonna go through that list right now. All right, so we're gonna start this list. I researched 12 different programs for you guys, and that is more than enough programs to apply to. However, there are more out there. And I'm not saying these are the top 12, but 12 different programs to apply to is more than enough. So like I mentioned earlier, make sure you're double checking the requirements because what I told you before about like that 3.25 GPA, it's all different for every single program. So just be sure to double check all of that. Okay, so first on the list, we have St. Francis University. Now at St. Francis University, if you look here, they have three different tracks you can go to and you can choose three different majors or three different uh, degrees that you can get for undergrad and then transition into DPT. So this is a three plus three, meaning three years in undergrad, three years in DPT school. And they have, these are the three different um, degrees that you can get. So you have a BS in health science, or you have a BS in health science leading to DPT with a concentration in healthcare management, or you have a BS in exercise physiology. You know me, I'm all about that one, leading to DPT. Um, they also have a traditional four plus three, which will take you a little bit longer and you can look into more details about that. Now, check this out, you guys. Like I mentioned, they have different requirements. So if you're gonna do the three plus three route, you wanna have your SAT score, they say, of at least 1210 on here, right? 1210 and an ACT score of 25 or higher. Your GPA, they're looking for at least a 3.5 or greater, and it's recommended that you take at least biology, chemistry, physics, four units of math, right? Leading up to pre-calc and English and other things like that. So that's number one on the list, St. Francis University. Um, also be aware that I'm gonna have all of these programs in the description below, so it's super convenient for y'all. Okay, next we have St. Louis University, okay? Now in this program, it is also a three plus three program where you finish everything in six years. Woo, holla, that's what's up. All right, so requirements for this one. Guys, 3.2 GPA, so a little bit lower than I mentioned. Your ACT score has to be at least 29. Woo. And your SAT score at least 1330 with at least one year of bio, one year of chemistry, and a college prep course equivalent to algebra, geo, and advanced algebra or trigonometry. And look, in here they also have what strong applicants will have. Right, so you have stuff that will go up to pre-calc, things where you need physics and anatomy and physiology, um, activities demonstrating leadership and community services, and an interest in profession of physical therapy as demonstrated through observation hours, school activities, or personal experiences. Now, let me just talk about that a little bit because high school students might be like, well, I don't know what extracurriculars I should do. I'm just involved in my uh, kinesiology uh, club or whatever which is great, right, for sure. But observation hours, you can start right now. So you can go and volunteer at a local clinic and ask them if you can just observe and you can put that on your resume, right, and put that in your application. School activities. Maybe you're in charge of helping or assisting in a PE class, or maybe your school is involved with local community services. That's also freaking huge. And personal experience. Maybe you volunteer your time to work as an assistant in the gym or you work as an assistant or a helping person at the front desk of a local a gym or a health and fitness facility. So all those things are kind of congruent with physical therapy and related fields. Okay, next on the list, we have University of Ian'sville. And in this program, guys, I'm telling you, this is a really hard one to get into. So check this out, y'all. 
So in order to go the three plus three route, you need to have at least a 3.35 GPA or higher. And uh, let's see, they have different specific requirements. You need to have at least a C or greater. You need to have four of the seven science prerequisite courses done. And they have all of that in the link here. So just make sure you check all of that out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Biochem, anatomy, physiology, medical terminology, uh, physics, you guys can read. So as you can tell, you gotta be pretty smart to be a part of these programs. Okay, Duquesne University, I don't know if I said that right. Um, but that's another one, your GPA 3.0 or greater, ACT of 24, right? And you need to have your SAT score of at least 1170, right? And then you need to have all these prerequisites done as well, okay? Next on the list, we have Walsh University, right? High school GPA of 3.75 or greater. Holy cow, that, you gotta be really smart to be here. You need to have an ACT score of 28 and an SAT score of 1,300. <sighs> all right, y'all, y'all, this is a prestigious program who, who, that's asking for a lot from you. So if you're already high and scoring well and doing performing well as a student, then consider Walsh University. All right, next on the list, we have Boston University. That's a great program to look into. They also have that program where you get a bachelor's in science and health studies, and then transition into a doctorate of physical therapy program. Um, we have Trine University on the list. This is a great program as well. DPT direct entry. Uh, we have, let's see, Ithaca College, a six year clinical doctorate program. We have, Marquette University, right? Direct entry phys uh, as a freshman. We have Carroll University, and we also have Maryville University. So guys, these are 12 programs that I researched for you, and there are more out there. All you have to do is you can just Google whatever program that might have, uh, you should look into programs that have a DPT program at first, and then look up that program and type in Google. Let's say uh, Maryville has a DPT program. You put Maryville University, then you put in freshman direct entry. Press enter and then see if they have a program like that. And you can do that for any program that has a DPT program and see if that university offers a freshman direct entry program. All right, high school students, I hope this video helped inspire you to already get a head start and a compiled list so you can apply to 12 different programs when you're ready to apply to college and so that you can already be in that program to be a physical therapist in six years. I can't stress that enough. If I knew I was going to become a physical therapist right after high school, I for sure would have done a program like this. So some cons about this is that when you are applying, you're for sure going to become a physical therapist. And let's say you get into it and you're like, I'm not sure if I wanna be a PT anymore. It's totally fine, you have your credits already and you can change majors and change careers but this is set up so that you can become a physical therapist in the quickest and fastest way possible. And it's a guaranteed job or guaranteed uh, graduation and acceptance into your DPT program. And then for sure a guaranteed job after because physical therapy profession, as you guys know, is on the rise and it is so high in demand. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you like this video, please make sure you give this a like, share this with all your high school friends who are interested in physical therapy, and maybe you have some cousins or some family members who are interested in that field. Uh, make sure you give this video to them so they can be already prepared and set up for success so that they can graduate and become a physical therapist in the fastest way possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, I do have everything in the description below. So make sure you check all those schools out and research everything on your own. And also y'all, if you're interested in a community to be around students who are trying to get into DPT school and you're just trying to learn a little bit more about the world of physical therapy, make sure you join my Facebook group called Levator Nation. I go live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to answer your questions on a Q&A and I also give education on different topics every single week. So make sure you don't miss out. 
and I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, share this with your friends, comment below with any questions. I'm here for you and I'm here to support you. Stay lifting, stay aloha. Have a great one, you guys.